Hi, good, uh, good afternoon everyone. In today's lecture, we are going to go ahead and continue with the concept of linear programming. In particularly, I am going to go ahead and I am going to talk about what is primal and dual. We have already understood how to solve the question related to linear programming. Today, we want to go ahead and we want to talk about primal and dual. Right, beta? Okay. So, question is what happens when the availability of resources change? So, just try to understand and try to uh, refer back to the previous lecture. So, we said we have 1 kg of flour. And then we had counted our equilibrium. In this equilibrium, the equilibrium of x1 star and x2 star were 5,22.5. What happens when the availability of the resources change? Kya hota hai jab mein apne constraints ko change kar do, when I go ahead and change the constraints. So you remember here when I was making this table, just come back here. When we talked about these tables, then here I had written that, you know, whatever flour you use for cake A, plus whatever flour you use for cake B, the total must be less than equal to 150. This was the availability of flour, which was subject to 150. It was restricted to 150 kgs. Now I'm asking what will happen if I add one more unit to it. So if instead of 150, I now have 151 kgs. So if you remember when we were finding the equilibrium yesterday, we showed that we were at point B. B was our equilibrium point. And at that B, flour and butter were completely being used. We were flour and butter ko completely used. Kar rahe the. And there was excess of sugar. But now what will happen when I add one more unit of flour to it? If I add one more unit of flour, then what is going to go ahead and happen? That is what the question is. That is what we are asking. So, so try to see that now my equation will be 3x1 plus 6x2 less than equal to 151. So, beta, if I just now look at the intercepts, what is going to happen? When I will put x2 as 0, if I put 0 here, then I will get x1 as 151 by 3 instead of 150 by 3. But if I put x1 as 0 here, if I put 0 put karti hu, I will get x2 as 151 by 6. These will be my two points. So you can clearly see that this, if you just go ahead and solve this, so beta 151 by 3 karna hai ab hume na. So 151 divided by 3, this gives you 50.34. Right? And 151 divided by 6, this gives you 25.167. So if you can clearly see earlier my intercepts were 50 and 25. Ye mere intercepts the. Now my intercepts are changing. They are 50 and 50.3 and 25.16. That means that there is going to be a shift to the right. Ye baat clear hui? So if I just go back to my if I just go back to my plotting where I had plotted this. Mm, where did we plot this? Here. This is what I had plotted yesterday. Now just leave everything else. Just focus on this, this flower equation. Ye humne kal plot kiya tha. So now what will go happen is now I have this as 25.167 and I have this as 50.34. So, slightly upward shift will be seen. Now, this will be my line. Bas this, curve, this line will shift upwards. Now, look at the equation. My equation is 3x1 plus 6x2 less than equal to 151. So, but I will put again x1 as 0, x2 as 0. And I will get 0 plus 0 less than equal to 151. So, this is true now. So, when you will see that this is true, you will shade towards the origin. 
तो ये लाइन से नाउ यू विल शेड टूवर्ड्स द ओरिजिन सो यू विल स्टार्ट शेडिंग टूवर्ड्स द ओरिजिन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द न्यू पर्पल लाइन नाउ ये बात क्लियर हुई सो इफ आई जस्ट गो बैक टू माई इंटरप्रिटेशन टूडे so the graph will shift outside gradually it will shift a bit outside so if you see this dotted line now no this is my new line this has this point as 25.167 and this point as 50.34 ye iske naye points ho gaye beta so now i will start shading from this line towards the origin like this other curves also i had to shade towards the origin so if you see the purple one is also shaded towards the origin and if you will see this sugar one all three are shaded towards the origin so beta now if you will see what is the common region you will notice that the common region is this hmm this this will come out to be your common region now notice something very important in this common region i will just remove this so that things are a little less messy so i will just see that what happened is earlier point b was this beta but now point b has changed the point of intersection now has changed the intersection coordinate has changed and what is this intersection coordinate showing you what is this b dash showing you kaun se do curves hai is pe jo intersect kar rahe if i notice at b dash this butter curve 27.5 27.5 and this flower curve these two lines are intersecting with each other at this point b dash so flower ka equation hum kya hai 3x1 6x2 151 And butter का इक्वेशन क्या है सेम x1 plus x2 is equal to 27.5. So beta, when you will try to solve these two equations simultaneously, just find out the value ना यहाँ से put x2 is equal to 27.5 minus x1, put it in this equation, get the entire equation in x1 and solve. So you will get that x1 will be 14 by 3. and then you can solve back for x2 yahan pe dal dena 27.5 minus 14 by 3 so you will get 137 by 6 so you will get this as x1 and x2 but what was your objective function kya tha objective function it was z is equal to 20x1 plus 30x2 i have already got new x1 x2 yahan pe 14 by 3 and 20 125 137 by 6 so when you will put 14 by 3 here and 137 by 6 here you will get the new objective function ka jo value aayega wo aayega 775 plus 10 by 3 in other words aapka jo new objective function ka value aayega na beta that will come down as 778.34 aise kuch aayegi so i can just break this back and i can say this is 775 plus 3.34 so 775 plus 10 by 3 ab isko bahut dhyan se hame interpret karna we need to interpret this very carefully note that earlier when i had 150 kg of flour the maximum revenue that i was generating was 775 when i had 150 kg of flour the maximum revenue in some mein se maximum revenue i was generating was 775 so the maximum value i can say that with flour as 150 kg sugar as 22 and butter as 27.5 the maximum profit you were generating was 775 now beta what i did is i increased flour by 1 unit maine flour ko ek ek unit se badha diya 
सो विद फ्लार एस वन फिफ्टी वन के जीज शुगर एस ट्वेंटी टू एंड बटर एस ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव बाकी चीजों को इंटैक्ट रखा है नथिंग एल्स इज चेंजिंग माई न्यू प्रॉफिट इज सेवन सेवेंटी फाइव प्लस टेन बाय थ्री तो बेटा प्रॉफिट कितने से बढ़े हाउ मच इज द इंक्रीज इन द प्रॉफिट दैट यू सी वी सी दैट प्रॉफिट इंक्रीज और द चेंज इन प्रॉफिट दैट आई सी हियर इज टेन बाय थ्री वेन डिड दैट हैपन वेन आई इंक्रीज द फ्लॉर बाय वन यूनिट 